Elden Ring, Elden Ring, Elden Ring. I can't believe we are finally talking about Elden Ring. Uh, <laughs> the last, really like almost even information, because there's only been a few cryptic tweets. And I like the, like, Mike has like written stuff in the run sheet, you know, real professional. Um, was the fact that in 2019, as part of the Microsoft E3 presentation, they actually showed the trailer for Elden Ring. And a trailer, and by the way, we just should flag, we're not going to talk about the contents of the trailer. I don't think, Swinny, you definitely haven't seen it. And Mike, you've seen only little snippets of it, right? I think I saw most of it. Oh, okay. Mm. I'm just more like, so yeah, like a, a trailer, a few segments of the trailer has been leaked uh, in various forums and it's making its way around the grounds. And then it also spurred on some outlets mm. to talk about it coming in the Xbox event supposedly in March or even as part of E3, which I, I loved how uh, Aaron Greenberg on Twitter, who's a head of marketing for Xbox, just shot it down instantly. And so when you from memory, I thought that was actually about June as well, like March, uh, sorry, E3 period of time for, for Elden Ring and Microsoft. As in the, the I thought that was the March event that they've got. That was rumoured this week. The yeah, the there's month. a rumored March event that's yeah. happening about Bethesda okay. and things like that. Yeah, um, this, I'm, I don't like any kind of leaks in general, but this one stings the most because this is a game that, as you said, we haven't seen anything from. It's probably one of the most, like, it is easily obviously one of the most highly anticipated games by the industry in general, but it's mm. personally the most highly anticipated game by myself. And I think, same, Mike, that you you didn't think it was dropping this year. That's why it didn't make your list. Um, yeah, and, but Mike said it would be number one if it yeah, comes out this year. And, we we pretty much all had it pretty much almost unanimously as one. Yeah, and I don't want to see, I don't want to get see my first impression as some dodgy yeah, pirate clip, that. you know. So I actually didn't want to even cover this as a story, but I think, Intergot, you said that you just wanted to talk, I guess, a bit about how this kind of stuff could happen and things like that. Well, yeah, like I actually, so we, again, we're not going to cover what is in the trailer. I watched it. I felt like I should watch it for the show's purposes. I wouldn't have watched it otherwise, but um, I don't want to spoil anything about it. Well, I mean, there's a few, few data points going out there. So Bandai Namco, who are publishing the game, they registered some weird name like Bandai Namco Live or something like that. Okay. So it seems like they're going to do their own direct type thing. But then there's like lots of, you know, discussion from journalists and, you know, none of them gone fully on the record, but it does seem like this game is going through massive development hell. And I kind of wonder, yeah. are people putting this game out there themselves? Because they're sort of a bit like, we're ready to show this game, but they don't want to show it. And I can kind of understand the professional frustration if, if higher ups are like, no, you know, let's you know, we're not going to show anything. Like maybe we'll wait next year or something like that. Like if you've been slaving on something, you'd be like, oh, like I think some people just say stuff it. I'm just going to like send this to, you know, friends that I have. And Well, the only thing I can think of is so we did, I think it's Dark Souls 3. We started seeing some blurry screenshots leak out, I think, before we'd seen the full proper trailer of that at mm. the time. So it's not... It's kind of happened before. I can't remember if anything happened with Bloodborne at all. I think Bloodborne, Bloodborne, I think we saw the reveal trailer first before we started seeing anything. But I think Dark Souls 3, we did see some screenshots. So it's just, yeah, like this is, I want this game to wow me. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So I get that. It's, yeah, it's, don't watch it's the trailer. Uh, I, yeah, I, I don't know if they haven't said much about it because they're having issues with what they're trying to achieve and it's not up to to the standard that they want it to be before they can actually show something mm. or other reasons because I don't know they don't want to show anything until it's you know close to completion yeah but, like going I mean, the I don't Nintendo know. route of like basically but announcing I mean, it two months before launch mm. there's no release date or anything so there's no not like, isn't, so it's not like you know, it's just the game could be taking a while because uh, this is the most ambitious title they've ever tried to develop and and, and just quickly like you know, this game, like to your point before, Swinney, for gamers, this is the number one game. Like not even like close. This is the new cyberpunk in terms of the... the, the f it's got that hype, yeah. It's oh, it's got, got that like, hype now, yeah. And, and given how much of a, you know, launch flop, let me say it like that, launch flop uh, cyberpunk was, and it kind of has really spooked the industry. Like you've even got like the head of Sony ref referencing it. And, you know, seeing studios delay, I feel feel like much more aggressively than they ever have in the past. 
I, yeah, you just I watch I see this game and I'm like, man, is this game even going to come out next year? Like, I don't know. You never know, man. You never know. See, so I, I, it was weird. The trailer was a weird one because half of it was like, well, don't don't, wanna, don't talk about the content. No, I'm not going to talk about the trailer yeah. itself, but I'm going to talk about the trailer if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So to me, it was it was I I was torn. Because on one hand, I wanted to actually check it out and see what's mm. going on and what it's what it's up to, but on the other hand, I didn't want spoilers. I didn't really want to. I'm like Swinny. I just I want I want to go fresh into this. When it's done, it's done. I'll enjoy it then. So I sort of watched a little bit of the trailer and then I went, eh, nah, screw this. I don't want to see the rest of it. <laughs> quit out. <laughs> uh, quit out. But from what I saw, my initial impressions well, did not wow talk, me. Don't talk is all about I can it too say. Much. Don't talk about it. So I'm not going to say more than that. Yeah, yeah. Um, Look, and it I, could just be because it was grainy and it looked exactly. like someone was recording it with like a phone off well, the they screen were. and they, stuff that's like that. That's what they were so, doing. Yeah, yeah, so it's nothing, it's nothing, you know, don't yeah. get discouraged or anything like that. But absolutely, and <laughs> Cyberpunk, we talked about it just now as well. Don't get your hopes up. When it comes out, it comes out and hopefully it's going to be a solid game when it does come out. So Yeah, like last thing I just want to say, like for, for me personally, it's funny. I don't even really care about these trailers. I have enough faith in who's making it, the studio behind it, the development behind it, mm. that honestly, that to me, they wouldn't even need to put out a trailer for me. Or like they could go, here's a trailer and it's coming out next month. It's like, okay, cool. Like that, that's fine. I understand they need to build the hype. Um, so maybe they'll do that this year. And right. look, I think it's either going to go one or two ways. I feel like the trailer is going to come out relatively soon or like we're not going to see anything this year from them. I think like I it's think going this, to be like next year. Like I think this game through. is coming out this year, and I have a hundred percent faith in Miyazaki. So, okay, I have faith in him too. Yeah, yeah. It's look, you know, yeah, it's going to be cool. It's going to be cool when it comes out. Like, hopefully, it's like the big Christmas game. That'd be pretty hype. Um, and then, yeah, we'll play it when it comes out. That'd be really sick. All right, let's move on to a game that I was like really surprised to see announced this week. So maybe I wasn't. 